Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about something that is a little bit more on the shady side of Logic. We are going to look at how to take your audio from Apple Music on your phone or iPad and record it directly into Logic, bypassing all the security measures. Super easy. I do want to say before we jump into that, Number one, don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you can receive notifications when I do new videos. We're going to be doing a bunch of them during this time when uh, we're off of work or just at home a lot more. Also, I want to make sure that you check out a video that I made recently. It's an interview with a man in the Czech Republic whose family is the Lobkowitz family. They're the ones who are the sponsors for great composers like Beethoven and through the years, they've been a huge supporter of the arts in the Czech Republic and in the heart of Europe. So check out that interview. I get to talk a little bit about some of my impulse responses that I've been making in castles and other places in the Czech Republic. Link is in the description below. So check that out. And uh, let's dive right into talking about how we can bypass some of the things Apple doesn't want us to have. You may have tried to use screen recording in order to record music from Spotify or iTunes and then be able to use it in other places. And they've really locked that part down. But what they haven't locked down is the ability to use the IDAM protocol. This is the InterDevice Audio MIDI protocol. Let me show you how to do this. There's two different places we have to really set things up. One is in Logic and one is in the Audio MIDI area, the setup. So right now, I don't have my phone connected. I'm going to connect it to my computer right now. Normal cable to my computer. It's going to show up now my list of audio devices here. And I just need to click on trust on my phone, enter my passcode. You can't see this because I can't do a screen cap as well as what I'm doing at the same time. Now I can enable this as an audio device. So this actually shows up as an audio device in Logic. I'm going to say don't use because that will mess up everything I'm doing. But we're going to come back in here for a moment. And it also has MIDI. So you can actually send MIDI to and from your mobile device into Logic. But we have that ready to go. And this is going to be a piece of cake. Um, we come back into Logic. And we are going to be changing one part of our audio settings here. So we're going to leave the output device for my screen capture. We're going to set the input as my phone. Okay, now I can play things on my phone and I'm going to just choose one of my own songs that I have copyright over. I can't share other people's music on YouTube without permission or paying royalties, but I can do this one. So I'm going to push play on the song and we have to come in here. Let's set the input. Let's make this a stereo track, set the input to one and two. And now you can see the signal here and let's turn on input monitoring. So I'm going to pause the music. Let's go back to the beginning. I'm going to start recording. Then I'll push play. So this is a great way to be able to pull music off of these services. Usually uh, they're for reference. So I'm going to just pull this off and put it in a project just so I have, even though it's a com data compressed version, it still gives you a pretty good idea of what it sounds like overall in the full mastered state. And if you're mastering your own music inside Logic while you're mixing, then this is can be a really useful tool. It can be useful for match EQ, if you want to do something with Match EQ, that'd be great. Uh, so you can use that as a source. 
and then apply that to something else. It's also great for doing little samples and, and things. For instance, uh, I'm going to, on my phone now, pull up another song written by the Eagles. And this is one where I'm just going to take one little thing at the very beginning. Okay, so all you heard, because I'm going to mute this, you can't, I can't actually play the Eagles on this, but all you heard was this little file right here. So I'm leaving this part in there, the kick, and I can now take that kick, sample it, use it in my projects. It's a kick that's all by itself. I love the sound of that kick, and now I can use that on in various places and have access to it, because I just pulled it right off of the song like this without having to do anything fancy. You can easily sample parts of songs and uh, things like this that you couldn't really easily get in other ways. Okay, so is this something that I would use to download full albums and share them with all my friends? No, I really wouldn't because that's uh, it's kind of breaking the law in a way that I'm not comfortable with. Plus, I know that many services right now embed codes in the songs, so there's still a chance that they could trace it back to you. I'm doing this for just my personal production or personal references or working on other songs that I do own the copyrights for, but using this just to compare and contrast. I'm not using this to distribute music away from people. Okay, that being said, we definitely don't want them to block this thing down. This is such a useful way to be able to pull music out. Also, if you're interested, because this is one of those tools that's very useful in other ways that I've talked about in other videos, but just to recap it here, uh, this is one of those things where we could come through with an instrument track. We could be using the external instrument MIDI destination is the iPhone. The input would be one and two, which is from the iPhone. And then I could be triggering MIDI here on the computer. I don't have any instruments loaded on my phone right now, but this would be sent out to the phone and then the sound from whatever virtual instruments on your mobile device would be coming back in. You can incorporate all of the instruments that we have in iOS directly into your Logic project. So. If you're interested in learning more about that, let me know. We'll do another video about that coming up. Hopefully, the newer versions of the software coming out continue to develop this area. It's so powerful. I'd like to see some of it work without having to have the cable attached, just uh, doing it more wirelessly. So I could set all my devices in my room, not have to bring them over to the computer, but automatically start taking some of the instruments and sounds from them. Okay. That's really it for this. Hope this was useful for you. Keep coming back this week for more videos we're going to be doing. Probably one every other day for a little bit. I'm expecting, although we don't know much about it, the uh, new version of Logic to be coming out any day, any week. But uh, we'll be the one of the first ones to do a, a little promo about it when it comes out. And hopefully we'll all be excited about some of the new features that are going to be there. Okay, talk to you later and have a great week.